Hello, welcome to Yoga Vinyasa Flow. Today, we're gonna to prepare our body to do a nice standing balance challenge. Um, so we're gonna bind the hand for the foot um, while standing on one foot. I will have options for everybody with and without a strap. Um, I do have a strap here to show that. You're welcome to bring one in. That is the only thing we will use a strap for. Um, so be mindful of that. And then um, blocks will just help us get a little bit deeper into some of our prepping for that practice. So let's go ahead and get started. Finding a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like for you. Good. And I am usually crisscross applesauce, but you can totally take legs forward. You can totally be hero's pose um, like this. Whatever feels good um, is fine. And then once you're here with a nice pulse spine, just settle in to your space. And notice if there's anywhere that you could soften just a little bit more. And then notice the breath. Are you in and out through the mouth, the nose, or a combination? Do you breathe with the shoulders, the chest, or the belly? Good, and as we inhale through the nose, fine expansion in that breath. We're still growing taller from crown to tail. Belly button is in. And inhale, expand. And slowly release. And again, big inhale, expand. And slowly release. Fingertips to the side, big inhale and reach. Turning palms away, grow taller from crown to tail as you bring those arms back down. Let's go again. Big inhale and reach. Exhale, pressing that down. Take a big inhale and reach. Exhale, hands come together, maybe looking up there at them. Exhale, hands to heart center. Create an intention for your practice. What would you like to receive? Okay. So I don't have anything special for you on this one. And feel free to come to your own. And once you have that set, we'll inhale and reach. Let's take that right into a side bend. I'm side bending to my left. And again, watch this shoulder. You want it to be not here. You want it to be more open, more in line with the hip bone. And once you're here, you choose your path. Are you gonna stay here? Are you gonna side bend deeper? Are you gonna choose to open to the back? Or choose a C-curve roll, forehead in the direction of the knee, but not touching, belly button rounds as it goes into the spine. You don't have to do what I'm doing. You just find what you need. That's why I give you all the options. And when you're ready, we'll reach and open. Moving through center, using the obliques, come right into the other side and reach. Good. And you choose, are you going to stay here? Are you going to choose to open up? Good. I got out of the order, but you can all, always choose a side bend deeper or maybe a C-curve roll. So find what feels good to you, and it might not be what you did on the other side. Sometimes we need different things on different sides. Inhale and open. Exhale, engage, and coming back up. Big inhale and reach. Exhale, gentle rotation towards the left. Arms are going to come down. Rolling the shoulders back, looking more behind you. Good. And once you're here, with the eyes only, could you look a little bit more behind you? Do you notice that the head might turn a little bit more when you do that? But you shouldn't turn a more in the spine. And we'll lift and come to center. Inhale, exhale, other side. Rolling shoulders back, looking more behind you. And when you're ready, we're going to lift up and come back to center. Good. From here, let's take the arms out to the side. We'll get some nice rotation in here. Good. And then palms up, hands to the shoulders. We'll move forward and back. 
Just a few rounds here, loosening up the shoulders. Make downward facing dog just a little bit better. And then you can roll these shoulders and elbows around and maybe opposite direction. Good. And then from here, get any little movement that would feel good to you. Maybe that's some neck stretches, some wrist rolls, shoulder rolls, spinal rolls, hip hinges, whatever would feel good to you right now. And when you're ready, we're gonna make our way to tabletop position. So I'm going to use my blanket in here because my knees need that today. You may not need that and that's okay. You can also bring padding in for your wrist. If your wrists don't like this hyper extension, you can always fold up one time or two times. Good. Your wrist is gonna be on the folded part. We'll give it a little bit of a lift. And for some people that can be more comfortable. Good. So spreading the fingers nice and wide, rooting through the knuckles of pinky, pointer, and thumb. My knees are under my hips, and they can be a little bit wider if you've got a cranky back. Careful not to do this kind of sway back here. You want a nice long spine. Belly button is in. Good. So inhale. Good. We'll come into cow. Exhale and around. Looking to the thigh. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cow. You can stay with this or follow me through one of the other options. So you've got semi-circle cat cow, inhaling on the cow. Exhale as you round through cat, sink down one hip, move through center, rolling up on the other side and then other direction. So that's option two. Option three, dynamic cat cow flow. Inhale on the cow. Exhale, round through cat. Think back, child's pose. Inhale, forearms drop. As you shift forward, elbows will lift, but they'll stay into the side of the body as you push up right into that cow pose. So take a few moments here to explore yours. You can stay with one. Do a combo of two or a medley of all three. And consider that if it's feeling good to your body and your breath right now, that you're doing it right. And then once you're ready on your last one, think back, find a child's pose. Knees can be together as wide as the mat, somewhere in between. You can make the big toes touch or not. You can take those arms long in front of you. If shoulders don't want that yet, take your hands back by the ankle. Let the shoulders release. Forehead can come to a block, a folded blanket, the floor. Zip up from pubic bone to behind the navel. Reconnect with breath and intention. And when you're ready, we're gonna come back to tabletop. So we're gonna do some opposite arm leg um, balance and then take that into a marching sequence here in a moment. So again, flat spine, try not to dip here. Belly button is in, left foot's gonna come back, press evenly into the big toe and pinky toe mounds as you press back through that heel. Let the left hip drop slightly so we're in an even pelvis. I'm pressing in and forward into my mat. My shoulders are away from the ears. I've got a micro bend in my elbows. And when you're ready, good, we'll come up. A small lift or a hip height lift. Again, try not to collapse through the back. Keep it lifted. And reach, make your abs work. We're still holding, we're breathing, we're pushing away the supporting shoulder, and we'll take that down. Good. Taking that to the other side, right foot's gonna come back, pressing evenly into big toe and pinky toe mount, dropping right hip slightly, pressing back through that heel. Good. Belly button is in. Breathe. And when you're ready, Good, coming forward, a small lift or a hip height lift. Good, opposite arm will lift here. We're holding the pose, we're not holding the breath. And when you're ready, we'll take that down. We're gonna go into a slow little march here. So you're gonna feel this on both sides of the abdominals um, when we do this, but from here, left leg, right arm, and lower, 
Left arm, right leg, and lower. Right arm, left leg, and lower. Left arm, right leg, and lower. Right arm, left leg, and pause. Good. You can stay here or take this to a diagonal. Toe can come down if you need it to. And we'll come back forward, taking that down. Good. Left arm, right leg, taking it back, taking it to the diagonal. Toe can come down if you need it to. Coming back, taking that down, child pose. We're gonna take this right into a puppy pose here, a puppy pose. So this is a back bend, and I'm gonna give um, different people different options based on easiest um, to the um, most challenging. So easiest, if you've got a couple blocks here, you can put, your forearms on the block so you don't have to go as deep. Hips stay over the knees, good. And then you're gonna take your spine into cow pose. So you're just gonna let the chest come to the floor, good. Tilting the pelvis back. So that's puppy pose number one. Puppy pose number two is just like that, except your forearms are on the floor instead of on the block. Just like that, okay. Puppy pose number three, maybe you take a pillow, a block, or a folded blanket under the chest for support. And then once you've got that support, oh, too far forward. And once you've got that support, maybe arms come forward. Okay. And then puppy pose, um, the full puppy pose. Good. You will take your chest to the floor, hips stay over the knees. Good. Arms will come forward. Good. I've got my chin down. I'm looking forward. If you've got a neck issue, take your forehead to the floor and breathe. Your belly button is still in here. This one took me a little bit to master. I was on a block for a long time. I was on my forehead for a long time. Now I find it to be quite lovely. And then once you're ready, Good, if you're on your chin, take your forehead down. One hand at a time under the shoulders. We'll press back up. We're gonna counter that extension with some flexion. So really press away and round. If you're unable to do flexion, just do some side bends here. And when you're ready, we're going to make our way to a downward facing dog, downward facing dog. So if you're taller, take a half a hand with or full hands with forward. If you're shorter, you can stay where you are. I'm going to tuck my toes, shifting hips back. I'm pressing in and forward into my hands as I start to lift my knees and take my hips towards the ceiling. Good. And once I'm up here, good. just try to find a nice position for you. So looking down at the feet, Hips, knees, and toes are in a relative alignment. I'm pressing evenly into big toe and pinky toe mound. Okay. I'm still pressing in and forward into my hands, rooting through knuckles of pinky corner and thumb. I'm pushing my shoulders away from my ears. So I'm protracted here. My ears are by my bicep. My belly button is in. Knees can be bent. And then find your down dog. You can stay here. You can bend and straighten the legs. The deeper you go, the harder you make it. You can walk the dog bending one knee at a time. You can go high on the toes and drop the heel. You choose what feels good to you. And then when you're ready, good, find stillness in your down dog. From your downward facing dog, inhale, walk forward, bend the knees, walk or step your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Hands can come to blocks if you can't touch the floor. Hands to the floor, to the shins or to the thighs. You want a long spine here. It's okay to have a bend in the knee. And exhale and we'll bow. Good. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. 
With bent knees or long legs, root into the feet, get into the glutes, long spine as you rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding your breath, your intention, and your mountain. Remember, soft knees here. We don't want to walk. Good. All right. Let's take this through two sun salute A's. Let's get nice and warm. So big inhale and we'll reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Long legs are bending the knees as you come down. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. And then you choose. Taking or skipping a flow. Halfway down, pushing through. If you're going to up dog, you can come all the way down, going to a cobra variation. Okay. Find your way back in down dog when you're ready. And from that downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, inhale and we'll lift. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway, long spine. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank. You choose, take or skip a flow. Always reconnecting with the breath. Reconnecting and remembering that intention. And from the down dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's go right into a sun salute B. Let's sit back into that chair. Good, belly button is in. So get back into the heels, get back into the glutes and breathe. You want a little bit more of a power move here, take a, a temple mudra and reach those arms by the ears. Maybe sitting back a little bit more. Inhale, exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, step or hop back to plank. You choose, take or skip a flow. From downward facing dog when you're ready, left leg's going to lift three points, bending that knee. Round the spine as you step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. You can bring a block in here for stability as you warrior prep if you need it. So right hip, knee, and toe are going to turn out about 45 degrees. Feel the heel, feel the arch, or a little bit wider if you need it. Be strong as you rise. And front hip will come back. Hip, knee, and toe track forward. You should be able to look down and see that toe. Your back edge of the foot should also be anchored and strong. It's okay to lengthen this front leg to do that if you need to. And we'll zip up the front body. Let's open into a back bend if you want that. Inhale, exhale, taking that up. Good, pressing through the back leg. Try not to change the angle at the knee, lengthen forward. Find that nice power move. Find your abs, relax the shoulders. Find the breath, find the heel. And taking that path back to the mat, planting the hands, swiveling up back foot, front foot steps back. You two take or skip a flow. I'm gonna skip this one. So down dog, child's pose, or just working on a plank are always fine if you are skipping your flow. Flowing's always optional. From down dog when you're ready, right leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee. Round as you step or pick up and put the right foot forward between the hands. Warrior prepping that back foot. Find the alignment that works for you on the side. I'm slightly different on this side than I am on the other side. It's totally normal. Front hip comes back. Watch your alignment, strong to the back edge of the back foot. We'll be opening up again. And coming back up, zipping up that front body. Good, try not to change the angle of that knee, pressing back through the back foot. Lengthen, 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 and pause. 
So you should be able to lift your toes here, getting into big toe, pinky toe mounds and the heels in both feet. And we'll take that down, planting the hand, swivel up the back foot, front foot steps back, you choose, take your skip a flow. From here, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. We'll sit back into that chair, finishing where we started. And again, you can add that little power move back in here. Pressing through, zip up the front body, maybe a little standing back then, and exhale. Hands to heart center. Finding breath, mountain, and tension. All right, let's flow down to a lunge. Let's start to really prepare um, the legs now for that balance challenge. Big inhale and we'll reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow from here. And I'm going to bring my blocks in. Good. I'm going to set my right foot back. So I'm going to left. Um, left low lunge. So um, my heel is grounded. My knee is over behind that heel. I'm really pressing with that back foot. I'm pressing evenly into big toe and pinky toe mounds. So I don't want this rolling um, funny business that I see a lot in my ankle to happen. Good. So from here, lengthen. Once you've lengthened, move forward and back. Good. Forward and back. You can move all the way back, find a length if you'd like. Good. And then from here, good. We'll find that length. Good. Left hip is back, right hip is forward. Good. I'm going to lengthen here. If you have more depth and you want to go there, you can take hands and or block more forward, keeping the length, ears by the bicep. When you're ready, good. We'll bring hands or blocks back in. I'm going to put a bend back in that front knee. I'm going to allow the right knee to lower down here. You might choose to stay right here if this is enough. Remember, if you're, even if you're here, you've got a nice long spine. Okay, belly button is in. You want more? Good. Maybe you come up. You can stay here. Or right hand's going to grab the left wrist. Lift. Get a side bend to the right. Stay with the breath. Come back to your intention. Coming back up, reaching down. Good. I'm going to take my block forward, plant the hands, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, front foot steps back. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Remember when you're flowing, halfway down is all you need. Healthier for the rotator cuff, safer. Elbows stay in through the body, though. Don't let them go out to the side. From down dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, we'll bow. Let's take the left foot back. So we're in the right up runner. Good. So heel is down, knee is over behind the ankle. I'm pressing evenly into that back ball of the foot. I'm finding my length, and then I'm going to move forward and back. If you're using blocks, remember blocks come in three heights. You can use any height that's appropriate for your body. And we'll take this next one back. Good, right hip is back. Fine as long. You can stay here if you know you've got more depth. You can take those arms, hands, blocks, whatever you're using here forward. Ears by the bicep. My belly button is still in. And when you're ready, if you went forward, good, we're going to come back in. Good. I'm going to put a bend back in this right knee. I'm going to let the left knee come down here. Good. You can stay here if this is where you need to be, or you can come up. And if you're coming up, good, you can stay here or left hand's gonna grab the right wrist, lift, 
side bends to the left. Try not to do this collapsy thing with the shoulder. We still want to be open. And coming up and reaching forward. Good. Blocks can come forward, planting the hands, tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee. Front foot can step back. You choose, take or skip a flow. Noticing how you're starting to feel a little bit more open now in the lower body. From that downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, roll out. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath, mountain, intention. Always try to engage the feet and the glutes when you come up. You want the legs to take the load, not the back. Good. Let's step back with the right foot coming into a warrior two. Okay. So my front hip's going to come back. Back hip's going to come forward. I'm going to heel to heel, heel to arch alignment, very similar to warrior one. I'm pressing through the back edge of that foot. Good. My front hip is going to come back. This knee is going to track towards pinky toe. I'm going to leave my hips right where they are. Torso only turns to the side. Find that twist and reach. And from here, when you're ready, you can stay here if you want more challenge with a bent knee, or you can lengthen it and taking it back to exhausted. Find what you need. Good. If you're going to arm bind or arm wrap here, again, find what works for you. Good, releasing. Good, come back to that nice form. Good, front hip is still back, pressing through that back edge of the foot, extended side angle. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. When you can come no more, take a forearm, take a block, Good. Take a four. Block can be any height. You can open up here. You can choose to reach overhead. Maybe you want to choose to wrap, opening up that shoulder, finding length. Maybe you cho choose to do a bind here if that's in your practice. So if you're binding, you just, which is, you have to be able to come on the inside. It's like this, but you want to be nice and long. We don't want to contort ourselves to get into a bind. We want to bind safely if we're going to bind. And then from here, we'll release. Looking down at that front foot, lengthening that front leg coming back. Triangle. Or triangle prep. Now we'll set up for that triangle. Good. So front hip's going to come back. Back hip's going to come forward. You can have a shorter stance or a wider stance. Depends on what you need on the side. And when you're ready, lengthen. My knees are unlocked. Good. Find the length, then find the thigh, the shin, the block, or the floor, and we'll open up. Good. Good. So remember, triangle is not a forward fold. Extended side angle is not a forward fold. Long spine. Makes them good for osteoporosis. Looking down at that front foot, putting a bend in that front knee. Taking hands on the inside, walking that around. Good, find your wide leg, forward fold. While you're here, make sure that the big toes are in alignment so you don't have one leg more forward than the other. Good, so you can also bring in a block here if you need to, and that's the way I'm gonna bring one in for this first one, just so that my head has a little bit more support. But from here, good, you're welcome to stay in this wide leg table or you can take the elbows, bend them straight back. Maybe a head comes to the block. Maybe your head doesn't need to come to a block. Actually, I may not need a block today. Good. Good. So shoulders are away from the ears. Hocking into my shirt there. Shoulders are away from the ears. And then from here, when you're ready, good. We're gonna lift back up, good. Let's take a twist in here. So I'm gonna take my left hand under my face, 
shift my hips to the right, press through and open to the right. And reach. And come back down. Hips come back center. Hands can also be on blocks here as well. Right hand's gonna come under the face, shift the hips to the left, press through, open to the left. And taking that back down, hips back center. Good. From here, press through the outer edges of the feet, coming all the way back up, long spine, inhale and reach. Exhale, hands to the hips. Lengthen as you take this back down. Hands can come down when you're ready. We're gonna walk the hands back around towards that left foot. Good, you're back in a left up runner, planting the hands, front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. You can always modify that flow. Coming knees down. From down dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, finding the breath, mountain, and tension. We're gonna do that all on the other side. So I'm gonna bring a block with me over here. So if you're gonna use a block, you'll have that on your right side if you need it. Good. And then from here, right foot will be the front foot. Step back with the left foot. Good. Preparing for your warrior two. Heel to heel, heel to arch, or this leg can be out a little bit wider. Front hip's going to come back. Hip, knee, and toe are tracking. Hips will stay right where they are. I'm just going to turn the torso and reach. And relax the shoulders. And breathe. And when you're ready, with a bent front knee or a lengthened front leg, we'll take that back, exalted. If you did an arm bind or an arm wrap at this point on the other side, find something similar here. So you're in balance. Belly button is in. I have this habit sometimes of tilting the pelvis. Try not to tilt your pelvis. Good. And finding back warrior two. Going into extended side angle. Pressing back, lengthen, 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 lengthen. When I can come no more, take a forearm, take a block, take the floor, get it opening up. You can reach the arm up overhead. You can reach it back, opening up. Same thing with the bind. Keep a long torso if you're doing the bind. Good, roll release, look down at that front foot, lengthen that front leg, take it back, exalted, triangle prep. Good, and then preparing for triangle on the side. So front hip is gonna come back, back hip's gonna come forward, we're zipped up. Shorten or widen your stance as needed. And when you're ready, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. When you can lengthen no more, take a thigh, take a shin, take a block, take the floor. Good, and opening up. Good, maybe look up at that hand. And when you're ready, looking down at that front foot, putting a bend in that front knee, both hands on the inside of that right foot, walk around, we're back in wide leg forward fold. So from here, making sure the toes are even, pressing through the outer edges of the feet. Long spine here. You can do what we did before. Coming here, you can walk your hands more forward, shifting hips back if you'd like. You can take the toes. Good. Taking the chest more towards the floor, elbows out. Chest won't actually touch the floor. It'll be more along the lines of the head. But shoulders are back in their pocket. Fine. What feels good to you right here? When you're ready, good, releasing, good. And find a nice wide leg table. From here, 
Turn hips, knees, and toes out away from the body. So you're going into that lateral, that external rotation. I'm going to put a bend in the knees, taking hands to the thighs, and coming all the way up. Let's take this into a sunrise flow. So from here, big inhale and reach. Exhale and come down. How deep you squat here doesn't matter as long as your hips are not going lower than your knees. And your hips, knees, and toes are tracking. So we don't want, you know, something like this happening here. That's horrible form. We don't want the one foot doing this and one foot doing that. So everything's going in the same direction. Take a wider or a shorter stance if you need it. And as you squat, try not to do this forward fold thing here. Try to be nice and upright. Good. And then from here, we'll just find a goddess squat. I'm still pressing to the outer edges of my feet. My belly button is in. I am zipped up everywhere. Good. You can stay here or move forward and back. Good. Careful not to lock the knee as you move forward and back. You can stay with this movement or coming here and rotate and rotate. Notice how I'm only rotating from the torso. I'm not letting my hips move with me. And then when you're ready, coming in, big inhale and reach. Exhale, hands to the hips. Find that hold, hands come down. We're gonna walk those hands back around that right foot. Plant the hands, front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. And take a big breath. And from that beautiful downward facing dog, when you get there, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, bow. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, finding your breath, your mountain. Return to intention. All right. Now we're properly prepped for our balance challenge. Just to kind of give you where we're going, we're gonna, it's this one, okay, out there, okay. I'm gonna show you with a strap and then I will show you options without a strap and then we will do it together. Um, just to make sure that this is as accessible as possible to as many people as possible. So remember, no matter what version you're doing with or without a strap, you can always come to your wall or a sturdy piece of furniture if you need that. So from here, Good, option one with the strap, maybe you just bend the knee, okay? We can take that out to the side, good. And then reverse as you open into the twist. Good. You can also take this into a longer leg. You can hold here, good. Maybe even up here, be mindful. If you're not stable down here, trying to go up here is gonna be a disaster. You will not magically become more stable the higher you go, but you can certainly take it out, bring it back in, and come here, okay? So those are strappy options. Non-strappy options are the same thing. Good. You can be here or you can be there. You can open to the side. You can come back, bent knee or long leg, or you can follow me with the bind. It's gonna be this one, okay? And coming back in and switching. Ooh, and coming back in. So. Choose the version that you are going to do. We're going to start with the right leg being the supported leg first. So I'm going to turn this way here. Good. So hip, knee, and toe are going to track forward. Try not to do this internal or external rotation thing. Find what you're, where you're going to go, with or without your strap. I'm going to do the full, um, but you do you. So whenever you're ready, good. Find it. It helps to look at something that's not moving. Belly button is in and we're breathing. You can stay here, you can open to the side. You can come back to center, you can stay there, this side. I'm going to modify that and do this right here. And when you're ready, Coming back in, taking that down, shake out that supporting leg. We're gonna do that all on the other side. So 
standing on the left side and how you do it on this side might be completely different than the other side because balance is different on the other side. That's okay here. But hip, knee, and toe are gonna track forward on the left foot. Good. Maybe you find a little bit, maybe you find a lot. Okay. And opening to the side. Coming back to center. Good. Change what you need to do and find what you need here if you're gonna take the twist. And when you're ready, good, release and come down. Shake out that leg, good. Always a challenging one. I do make that, a lot of that look easy, but do know it took me several years to be able to do that and to do the um, twist, it took me a few years longer than that. So practice makes progress. Don't give up, keep practicing it, work on your balance and eventually you'll get there. Let's come to the floor. Big inhale and reach. At Helen will fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. At Helen will bow from this bow, just bend the knees. Good. Taking one knee at a time, coming back and then coming back on the bump. Good. Doing a seated forward fold here. So you can always sit up on something if you need that. Good. Legs can be a little bit wider than hip width apart if you need that. You can always put something under your knees if you need that. Look at your feet. You want your feet to be in flexion and flat, like they're standing on the wall in front of you. So we don't wanna do this internal rotation thing that happens. You can bring a strap in here as well if you would like to do that. Good, so I'm just taking my pelvis into an anterior tilt, meaning my frontal hip bones are tilting this way. And my tailbone is tilting that. So nice and tall, big inhale and reach. Exhale, long spine to hinge, and then we fold in. Keep a long spine though if you need that. Again, make sure the feet are flat. Breathe into that back body. And when you're ready, good, we'll come back up. Good, I'm gonna take this right into a roll down onto my back. If you need to get there a different way, um, please do. But I'm just going to see curve in, scoop in that belly and roll that down. Good, and then once you come down here, bring your knees into your chest. Reach behind those knees, maybe rock, rock side to side. And finding a little bit of length here. Let's go into some nice hip openers. So let's come into a supine cobbler's pose. So I'm gonna take the soles of the feet together here. Elbows are out to the side. Heels are being pulled in more towards the groin. If this is not for you, then you have another option of a happy adult. So your knees are kind of in an external rotation. Feet are not touching. You're holding at the ankles or the shin. You're also free to take this into a happy baby, grabbing the foot or the toes coming up here. So find length from the spine from crown to tail, wherever it is that you're choosing to take this. And breathe. And when you're ready, good. we're gonna release. Good. Take the feet down to the floor. Let's do a robot arm bridge. So your heels are not gonna be too close or too far away. You're a little bit bent here, good. So <clears throat> I've got my elbows and the back of my arms into the floor. They're in tight towards my body. My fingertips are facing the ceiling and my palms are facing each other. So when I press into my feet to lift, I'm also gonna press into my arms and my elbows. So 
zip up that front body, big inhale, exhale, press into the arms, press into the feet, lift up into the bridge. And breathe. Connect with the knees, fall in or out. Belly button stays in here. And when you're ready, good, we'll take that back down. Bring the knees back into the chest and rock, rock side to side. Let's finish with the figure four and figure four twist. So I'm going to take my right foot down, cross my left ankle on that right knee. For some of you, this might be your figure four of where it ends today. Others are gonna bring this in closer to the chest. You might even bind through here. Good. Flex your feet, so toes are always going in the direction of their knee. And if you wanna rock it, you can rock it. And then from here, I'm gonna release my bind. I'm gonna take my right foot back down. I'm leaving my ankle where it is, arms out to the side, and I'll take this into a figure four twist. Belly button is in. I'm gonna let it all fall over to the right as I look to the left. Breathe and expand. And when you're ready, good. Engage the abs and we'll come back up center. We're gonna take that all to the other side. So we'll undo right ankle over left knee, open up. You can stay right here if this is where you need to be. You can bring in closer to the chest and be there. You can thread it through, find what you need. Good. Toes are going, pointing in the direction of their knee. The right toes point towards the right knee, left toes point towards the left knee. When you're ready, we'll gently release, keeping that ankle right at that knee, arms out to the side, belly button is in. We're gonna let that all go over towards the left, looking towards the right. Figure four, twist. One of my favorite twists, which just feels a little bit different than some of the others. And when you're ready, we'll bring that back into center. Good, we'll carefully undo. I'm gonna get a windshield wiper here for my body. Other bodies might like it better if you bring your knees back into your chest. So kind of get whatever movement that would feel good to you. And when you're ready, we're gonna go into our Shavasana from here, our relaxation. So I'm gonna bring my folded blanket back in here as a little neck pillow. You can bring in any props that you would like to make yours comfortable. And then legs and everything can flop out and open. If you have a back that does not like that today, you can always put a bend in the knee. You can be on your side. You can be on your belly. Be where you're comfortable. Be where you can be for a few moments without fidgeting. And I will leave you here, sinking deeper into the space, deeper into the breath, reconnecting with that intention. And taking some deep breaths here. Choose stillness. We're taking the head and neck from side to side, maybe wiggling fingers from fingers and toes, maybe a little windshield wiper, depending on where you went with that. Choose 
choose stillness. We're taking knees into the chest, choosing to keep the upper body grounded, or maybe you want to tuck the chin, lift up, full body hug. And choosing stillness or moving any props out of the way that you use during your Shavasana time. Taking legs long in front of you, arms long behind you. Find that full body stretch from fingertips to toes. Good. Pointing and flexing to the feet, bending and stretching from hands, curling wrists and ankles in one direction, and then in the other. And then whenever you're ready, bending in both knees, and you choose rolling over to your right or left side, the side that works best for you in this moment, taking all the time that you need here. But when you're ready, bringing yourself up to a comfortable seat where we started our practice. Taking a moment, finding that tall spine, noticing how you feel. Palms turning up. Inhale, reach, 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 and lengthen. Look up there with those hands. Exhale, stop the thumbs right on top of the forehead, right in front of the forehead. As you come down, for good and true thoughts. To the lip, for good and kind words. And to the heart, for open and loving heart. Knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted. No gain is ever reversed. May you be safe. May you stay well. May you have a wonderful day, evening, week, month, season ahead. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.